right where we left off, Anthony already went ahead and put in all of the nails that we needed for the floor joist hangers. And he's just finishing up right now, uh, putting in the screws also into those joist hangers. So that should be done, which is huge. Uh, I will say this, we are going to be battling another hot and very humid day. Um, it is fairly early in the morning right now and Anthony and I are sweating like we've been out here for hours working away. So it's not going to be a fun day, but I'm hoping that we can get a lot accomplished. Uh, we got the truck over here, we had to run into town yesterday, pick up some supplies. So hopefully the supplies that are in the back of the truck, we will get to them today. No joke today, huh baby? It's like 80, probably 85 now, and it's 86% humidity. Yeah, it's very bad today. We decided to bring this out to maybe help get a little airflow. There that's, is no, that's the problem. There's no breeze. Yeah, there's no. Well, there is once in a while. If a little bit of breeze, it'd be really nice. But yeah, it's all right. That's true. We got things to do. We do. Mark them and you cut the blocks. I'll write like a number on them. That so, way I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way I keep this out of this part. Just be easier. I'll mark them and start cutting them. done with the blocking uh, it's looking really good and I would say that it's probably really solid and then once we put the uh, sub flooring on top of that I think it's gonna be super solid so but it looks so good it actually looks like a, a floor
the blocking is done. And man, guys, that task was not easy. <laughs> it's miserably hot. Out well, here. it's just a, it takes a long time to do. Yeah, and it's a lot of back. Block yeah, takes a while. and it's a little bit of tedious work because there was a couple boards that were just like oof, a little bit too long, so I had to sliver off some. So it just added an extra step that didn't need to be there. Well, not everything's perfectly lined up. It's true. You know I mean, we're off quarter of an inch here, sometimes eighth of an inch. Yeah. Try our best, but you know it happens. Yeah, we're only human, right? So, but yeah. it looks so good. I mean, well, it's just blocking. Well, this is going to help all the weight. True. Yeah, you know. and uh, Anthony's kind of walked across it. I don't know if I can with see how good my balance is while holding a camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. There's no, um, I don't see like the walls or, you know, the roof and stuff moving. Not that it matters because the roof will be coming down soon enough. Just not right now, and I'm glad it's not because look at out there, guys. Look how sunny it is. I don't want to be roasting and burning in the sun. <laughs> I mentioned earlier in this video that we went and got a supply run yesterday and we got some subflooring. How exciting! <laughs> yeah, gotta get all this on there before uh, we can start framing the walls. So, yeah, and this was kind of the step we wanted to get to today was it getting the subflooring on. So, we're there. That's some of it. Some of it, yeah. We're not gonna be able to get all of it, we're gonna have to make some cuts and stuff like that on these um, for this. But for now, at least put the big pieces on. That way it does do something over here. <laughs> it's gonna look so good though, guys. I'm excited. <laughs> course in true country road cure fashion and I probably jinxed it because I mentioned it earlier <laughs> off camera when Anthony and I were talking but we've ran into some problems with putting in our subfloor it's not really a problem it's just there's probably a board in here that's warped and it's just throwing everything like off so we got to figure it out but we've been out here guys probably for like six hours like working really hard in this heat and like our brains are just fried we just our thoughts aren't coming together very well to try to figure out what's wrong with this Anthony is just done he can't take it no more I mean he's been sweating all day <laughs> looking like he was playing in water with his clothes being soaking wet you can't tell his black shirt but yeah, I mean his pants not so much anymore but earlier today 
It's all good. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just hot. It's just hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Like you said, my brain ain't working no more. We have a problem that I have to figure out, which is very frustrating because I was hoping to get this floor on right now. Another exciting, hot, fun-filled day ahead of us today. Um, we mentioned yesterday that we had a little bit of problems with some of our floor joists. Um, we did come out here this morning and we actually kind of went back through them and we did find that one was a little warped, which causes all kinds of problems for us. But we went ahead and already fixed that issue. And upon some like further investigation, I shouldn't say investigation, but upon like further looking, um, we think we're gonna add some middle like four by four posts here in the middle because when you're walking on it, it kind of bounces a little bit. So just to make sure that it's more structurally sound, we're gonna add some more of those and then hopefully get back on the subflooring and have no issues after all of this is done. <laughs> One of my favorite tools known to man. <laughs> Yeah, right. Right. That's all right, though. You don't have to. got all of the middle supports in. You guys see them? Dug them down a little bit, screwed them in. Now it's not bouncy at all. Yeah, very strong and yeah. sturdy. Well, I knew I'd have to put middle supports in here because these are two by sixes and the span's 10 feet, which is still fine. But the rule of thumb, you know, two by six, two times six is 12 feet. You don't want to go past that. We were reaching right at the edge of it, so it had a little bit of bounce to it. But now, they only span five feet because of the bracing. So they're very sturdy. Yeah, no wobble whatsoever, even on the end. Nope, that's yep. what you want. Yeah. Nope, that's good, baby. I'm glad we did that. Yeah, we can get the flooring on now. Yay, back to where we started, right? Yeah.
project has taken us a few days. <laughs> well, yeah, at least just this, to get this far. Yeah, I was gonna say this portion of our project that we're working on. But you know what, guys? It's been really hard work, but we've been getting it and uh, staying motivated. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> floor is coming out great. Yeah, look, uh, Anthony was just walking around after he put in all the screws, and man, guys, this is super strong and sturdy. Oh yeah, I think. Yeah. See. Yeah, I still actually have a few more screws to put in. I'm, yeah. almost, I'm almost done, but it's getting really, really hot. It's like midday right now and it's starting to... Yeah, yeah well... So, this I, is what we wanted to accomplish though. Yeah, this is it. This is what we were hoping to get to yesterday, which I think we would have had we ran into some problems. Yeah, I think so too. And if you guys are wondering, just real quick, why wow, that's not covered with subfloor, the reason why we want to get this part done, and now what we're going to end up doing is moving all those tools over here. Now the floor is hot, and then we're going to finish that portion out. Yeah, put joists and stuff on Yeah, there. we don't want to put a four-foot board right here just to that. You know, we want to keep going with the eight-footers. Yeah. So if you're wondering, that's why. Yep. Um, but we're going to be getting on that real, real soon now that we have this done. So yes. I'm excited. I'm super excited. I am very anxious to use this, but I know that's going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be a while. But it's looking so it's good, okay. baby. It's looking great. Yeah. 